welcome back to Travel in Chinese. I'm your host, Mark Rosewell, also known as Dash Ann. In this series, we've been talking a lot about food. As the characters in our dialogues are based in Beijing, naturally they went out for a meal of Beijing Kaoya, Peking Duck. But they also went to a Sichuan restaurant, Chuan Tai Guan, and had dishes like Gong Bao Ji Ding, that's a spicy diced chicken dish, or Ma Po Dofu, that's a spicy bean curd dish. Well, one of the most popular dishes in Beijing, especially during the cold winter months, is Shuan Yang Rou, that's a lamb hot pot. It's often called Mongolian hot pot in English because it originates in the north of China. Actually, there are many different styles of hot pot. Today, let's watch Xiao Jie and Liu Yong as they go out for a meal of Shuan Yang Rou, lamb hot pot. Hey, Xiao Wang. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Later, we'll meet. Okay, bye. 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 别急，我给他打个电话。嗯，好，好好行，好吧。啊、哦，好嘞好嘞，我知道了。好，再见。表哥说什么？他说他明天从学校回来就带你去，到时候还有他的一个同学和你们一块儿去。你明天不和我们去吗？嗯，我明晚要加班，你们好好玩，多吃点。这是我表妹小杰，这是我同学。你好，我叫小杰。你好。那咱们走吧。好。请问要什么锅底？你吃辣的吗？不吃，受不了。那我们来个鸳鸯锅底吧。鸳鸯是一种鸟吧？在这里。鸳鸯锅底的意思就是一个锅里装两种锅底，中间分开。锅底不一样，涮出的肉味道也不同。哦，原来是这样啊！这里的羊肉啊，特别好，没有膻味儿。咱们尝尝。要点羊肉、牛肉，要点青菜。豆腐、粉丝、白菜，两盘羊肉，再加一盘牛肉。请问三位用什么调料？你们这有什么调料？香油、麻酱、海鲜的，三碗香油的吧。好的，请稍等，马上就来。啊，一半白，一半红，真好看。锅都开了，咱们往里放吧。肉变色了，熟了，快加吧，趁热吃好吃。Okay, let's go over the dialogue part by part. What is hot pot anyway? Huo guo literally means fire pot. Shi bu shi guo li you huo? Is there fire in the pot? Well, there has to be some kind of heat source, but there are many different styles of hot pot. Old-fashioned Beijing hot pot is a round donut-shaped pot surrounding a small charcoal fire. Nowadays, gas and electric heat are also used. They're more convenient and they're less polluting. Nar gan nar a. This is a colloquial expression to show that you don't agree with what has just been said. Nar gan nar a. It's like saying, "It sounds like nonsense to me." These two things don't go together. Hot pot? That's what? Is it? 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 Is it?
different styles of hot pot have different soup bases, what we call guo di. Sometimes the base is very simple, just hot water and a few simple ingredients like green onions or fresh ginger. Other styles of hot pot have a very rich or spicy broth. Now, if you can't choose between a spicy or a plain broth, the yuanyang guo di is a common compromise. Yuanyang are Mandarin ducks. These animals are known for staying with the same partner for their whole lives, so they're a symbol of happy matrimony. Yuanyang huo guo. This is a hot pot that's divided into two halves, one half with a spicy broth and the other with a mild broth. Yi ge guo li zhuang liang zhong guo di. To put two soup bases, guo di, in one pot, guo. Zhong jian fen kai, separated in the middle. That way, each person can choose which flavor they prefer, or they can even try both. Shuan chu de rou wei dao ye bu tong. The meat tastes different after cooking in a different base. Shuan is to scald, to cook something by dipping it in boiling water. No matter what kind of hot pot you have, the food is cooked by shuan, dipping in boiling water or soup. You also have a choice of dipping sauces, tiao liao, to use after the food is cooked. Xiang you, sesame oil, and ma jiang, sesame sauce, are two common choices. Now here the hai xian refers to a seafood dipping sauce, not fresh seafood. As a general rule of thumb, the more spicy the broth is, the milder the dipping sauce is. For hot pots with a very mild broth, stronger dipping sauces are often used. This is a good general rule. When the meat changes color, it's done. Red meat becomes whiter when it's cooked in water. Since the ingredients are sliced thinly, they should cook fairly quickly. It doesn't take more than a minute or even less. Other ingredients, like the tofu, can stay in the broth for a longer time. But if you leave meat too long, it'll become tough and less pleasant to eat. Chen ru chi, eat it while it's hot. Chen means to take advantage of an opportunity. Chen ru means while something is hot. Chen ru chi, eat it while it's hot. Okay, let's watch that part of the dialogue again. 肉变色了, okay, now let's relax a little bit. You know, if you visit Beijing, especially outside of the hot summer months, you really should try huo guo. Most people call this hot pot. Others call it a chafing dish or Chinese fondue. Huo guo literally means fire pot. 是不是锅里有火? Is there fire in the pot? Well, of course, there has to be some kind of heat source. But there are many different styles of hot pot. Old-fashioned Beijing hot pot is almost like a donut shape surrounding a charcoal fire. So the charcoal fire is in the round belly of the pot, surrounded by a ring of boiling broth. Nowadays, of course, gas and electric heat are also used. They're much more convenient and less polluting. Some restaurants now use a smaller size of hot pot so that each person has their own pot. These are usually just small flat bottom dishes heated by a can of fuel that can be ignited with a candle or match. This is closer to the western style of fondue, although the ingredients would be the same as traditional Beijing hot pot. It's fun to cook your own meal this way and there's a huge variety of ingredients that you can try. Just make sure you don't eat any of the dishes raw and sterilize your chopsticks in the pot too. Now let's take a closer look at some language points in today's dialogue. For example, 受不了 can't handle or can't bear, can't stand something. Here's an example. 坐24个小时的火车,小孩子可受不了. Little children can't bear taking a train for 24 hours. That's too long for them to stand. 坐24个小时的火车,小孩子可受不了. Here's another example. 我受不了这么冷的天气。I can't bear such cold weather. 我受不了这么冷的天气. 
Okay, here's another language point. Ten. This means to take advantage of an opportunity. For example, 他趁我不注意把我的包拿走了. He took advantage of when I wasn't looking, when I wasn't paying attention. Took advantage of this to take my bag away. 他趁我不注意把我的包拿走了. Here's another example. 趁着在中国旅游的机会, 他认识了很多中国朋友. He took advantage of his travels in China to make many Chinese friends. 趁着在中国旅游的机会, 他认识了很多中国朋友. Okay, let's go back to the dialogues now and see how these language points were used there. 锅都开了，咱们往里放吧。there's a very interesting phrase that came up in today's dialogue that would be useful for some substitution exercise. That's nar gen nar. This literally means where and where. It means you've taken two things that don't go together and you've put them together. It's nonsense. This is a colloquial expression to show that you don't agree with something or something that's just been said. That's nonsense. Nar gen nar. Let me show you an example. Nar gen nar. This is my sister, not my girlfriend. What are you talking about? This is my sister, not my girlfriend. Nar gen nar. This is my sister, not my girlfriend. Okay, let's try some substitutions now with. 哪儿跟哪儿啊？我都不认识他，怎么可能知道他的电话号码？这哪儿跟哪儿啊？我都不认识他，怎么可能知道他的电话号码？这哪儿跟哪儿啊？他说的是法语，根本不是英语。In today's lesson, we've been talking a little bit about hot pot. Well, there are many different styles of hot pot. What we learned about today is one called Yuanyang Huo Guo. That's where you have in the same pot, but in different sections, a spicy broth and a plain broth. Now, many people like to eat yang rou, lamb, in their hot pot. Others prefer beef, miao rou, or seafood, hai xian. You can cook just about anything in a hot pot, but remember, chen ru chi, eat it while it's hot. Well, that's it for hot pot. In our next lesson, we're going to go and see what kind of midnight snacks we can find.